Hello, Mr. Motors, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having an amazing day. And today, it's, it's party, party time. time! I'm wearing such a party outfit, you know? Actually, yeah, this might be what I'd party in. Although, maybe without this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait! I did party in this already. And I might also have to lose this jacket because this jacket kind of wants to party. Yeah, today I thought it's party time. I haven't really experimented much with drinks, but I feel like I could be a mixologist. I just think I can do anything I put my mind to. <laughs> so today I'll be a mixologist. Tomorrow I just might become an astronaut. You'll be the first to know though. <laughs> anyway, 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 I just really wanted some fancy drinks in my life. Because as you guys may or may not know, I don't really drink. I have started to take a sip of alcohol every now and then when, yeah, I do kind of feel socially awkward and do no longer want to have to explain why I don't drink alcohol. And while there are six drinks in, I'll still have half of my first drink left. But anyway, that is just society because alcohol is so normalized. I don't really want to go into that. What I do want to say is that sometimes I just want the fanciness of a nice alcoholic drink without the alcohol. And other times I just kind of want to look like I'm drinking alcohol to avoid the question. Why are you not drinking? That's what mocktails are for, right? That's an orange. <laughs> I tried to look up the fanciest and coolest mocktail recipes on TikTok that are not just pineapple juice with orange juice, you know. And I just know so many people will be triggered that we don't put alcohol into anything. Or like in the TikTok comments, every second comment was, where's the alcohol? That looks nice. I'll just add some tequila. This would taste great with gin. Let's just start with the first rest. It's getting hot. <gasps> wow, already losing clothes and we're not even one drink in if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay guys, drink number one. I don't really know what drink number one is, let me. <laughs> Maybe I'm drunk already. See, I don't even have to drink to be drunk. Some of these TikToks use really random and funny sounds though. They're like, Did you know that the consumption of zero ounces of alcohol is way healthier than the consumption of even just a tiny bit of alcohol? Like, thanks. <laughs> consumption of zero ounces of alcohol is going to be better for your health than low to moderate consumption of alcohol. I always love the idea of a good mojito. If I had to like force myself to drink a cocktail, I would probably opt for a mojito. Just like a mojito with less sugar because sometimes I put like 10 gallons of sugar in there and I'm like, okay, sugar rush. Don't even need the alcohol because the sugar has got me high. <laughs> Tonight, we're gonna be making a variation of a normal mojito because we're gonna make an orange mojito. Therefore, we need the orange. <laughs> Here is what else you need. Mint, honey, lime juice, hmm. mm. and club soda. Uh, again, I'm not a mixologist. Club soda, I couldn't find in Germany. Then I googled. And they said there's not much of a difference to sparkling water. If that's incorrect, then blame Google. Don't blame me. So uh, I just took sparkling water, I guess. I hate sparkling water. Who still drinks that nowadays? First off, we're gonna slice our orange. Maybe I gotta start teaching you a little bit of German here and there for those of you who don't speak German. So orange <laughs> is orange in German. <laughs> It's written the same way, guys. You're welcome. I'll be a fuse. Boom! If you have a cigarette, then I'm the smoke guy. Those of you who know stuff about drinks will probably come for me. My nose is so itchy right now. If I don't choose the right glasses. But, well, we don't have that many different kinds of glasses. As long as it's a glass, I don't really care. Here, here. In the air, yeah. Hi guys. Um, you don't really want to see me. <laughs> We're gonna start this off with some fresh orange slices. I love oranges. I mean, I do love all kinds of citrus fruits. That said, <clears throat> I just love it. I love it! <laughs> oh. That was supposed to be a Caesar flicker, man, but that was like the worst impression ever. I'm sorry. I love that! 
And we are ready for some menta. That's Italian for mint. This is the tiniest glass ever. But I also don't want to get drunk on the, off of this first drink yet because we're gonna be drinking like five drinks or so tonight. Then it says to add some honey honey. It's finally time for lime juice. <laughs> I like lime. It's empty. I might not have bought different kind of glasses for this video, but I did buy this mixology set and it came with whatever this is. And now we get to like do this. Yeah, we're just gonna put it in here now. I'm just gonna add a bit of ice. Is this close? Oh my god. Is this close? This gets so cold. Ooh. Then that person does some of this. More ice. Fill that glass up with some water. Sparkling water. Ah! Stop sparkling! I'm just gonna add some more mint on top. <laughs> Cheers, guys. This is our orange mojito. That looks very good. Yeah, to be honest, though, it doesn't look like a cocktail, you know? Let's try. I'm not getting a lot of orange. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, this is very good. It kind of just tastes like a nice soda, you know? A healthier soda. It doesn't really taste like Fanta-like. Tastes very fresh and like I could sip this up. So this wouldn't be that great because I'd have to buy like 10 of these because you can just <clears throat> chug it. Ugh, never mind actually. I don't know how you guys drink sparkling water. I'll probably forget rating the other recipes, but this one is a solid maybe 6 out of 10. It's really good. Mm -mm, no, that wouldn't be a 6 out of 10 then. It's good. And I'm looking for groundbreaking. Ugh. At first I was like, I'm bloated as a joke, but bro, I don't think it's a joke anymore. But we move. <laughs> That is like such straight Insta guy lingo. I'm sick, but we move. <laughs> Rising grind. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's time for recipe number two. I'm kind of starting to feel the drinks already, so that's great. This next one is gonna give me the kick, I'm sure. Never seen this before, you guys probably have. We're gonna be making a spicy blackberry margarita cocktail. Here's what you need. You will need blackberries. You're smart. You knew that, right? A few slices of jalapeno. The juice of one and a half limes. Guys, I got more of this bottled lime juice. One tablespoon of maple syrup. Some more sparkling water and ice. Here we go! Okay, so we start off with the blackberries. You have to put them into your mug individually, otherwise they won't taste good. Now we're gonna cut some slices of a jalapeno. It looks like that person had like four big slices, so I'm gonna do six smaller slices. Time for the lime juice! This is a different brand, I better try this. Now we have to do this stomp stomp stompy again. <gasps> wow, the color! Excellent! The person then puts this stuff into a shaker through a sieve again. More of the stompy stompy. It's not my fault. They add more lime juice. Time for some ice. Now we shake. Oh, it's kind of leaking. It gets so cold. Now we put it into a glass with technically more ice, but I'm gonna run out of ice cubes if I use more, and this is like cold enough. This looks like beetroot. That is an extremely pretty color. Now we fill that up with sparkling water. Wow! That is very pretty. Mine looks way better than in the TikTok if I do say. I mean, mine kind of looks like a juice. Wowie! That looks so good. <gasps> I forgot something, and it's definitely missing. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but why did no one remind me of the maple syrup? No one saw that, no one saw that. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> lacking sweetness. <gasps> ah! Looks even better now, guys. I'm so glad that I had to shake it twice. It looks way better now. I'm low-key almost already over my dream of becoming a mixologist because this is kind of stressful. <laughs> Let's try that again. Mm. 
This is so interesting. I'm not sure if I like it. I keep drinking it because it's so interesting. It has so many dimensions. At first it's kind of sour from the lime. Then you get the sweetness from the maple syrup. And then slowly it starts to become very spicy from the jalapeno. Mmm. <laughs> I think I like it. I think it would taste better with different berries though because the blackberries don't have much flavor. Okay, this would definitely take me a while to drink. This is gonna be an 8 out of 10. Six of these points are due to its interestingness. Also, I had so much juice, so I couldn't add that much of the sparkling water, which I like because now it's not that sparkly. <laughs> Business move. If the next one is not gonna be an at least an 8 out of 10, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep tonight. I'm gonna do it. It's not like I don't do it every night anyway. <laughs> but tonight, I will have to do it. So it better be good. I think if you're in the mocktail business, if it's even just a little bit, you will probably know this next one. We're gonna be making a piña colada mocktail. Si la niña quiere piña, se le va. Si la niña quiere piña, se le va. Chili! Here's what you need. First off, you need a drink that you drink while you're making this drink. They even called it a healthy piña colada. The juice of half a lime, 3.5 ounces of pineapple juice, like as if I know what 3.5 ounces is, like I'm European. One and a half tablespoons of coconut cream, agave syrup, and some coconut shreds. Should we start with a decoration? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Do you know what, guys? It's totally not a pina colada glass, but I want to drink it out of this one because that's like the fanciest glass we've got. You will also need a plate. This step is very much optional, but I'm going to do it. You need a bit of agave syrup, and then, of course, coconut shreds. Now dip the glass into the agave syrup. And now into the coconut shreds. Is it pretty? I'm not too sure to be honest, but it has been done now, so it's nice. We're gonna start with the lime juice. That looks like half a lime. I actually think these are ounces. I just don't know which side is one ounce. But that person in the video took the bigger side. Three ounces of pineapple juice. Oh, three and a half, by the way, whoopsies. One and a half tablespoons. I don't think I've ever tried coconut cream. I wanna go back to never having tried it. <laughs> now we do the shaky shake. Shake, 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 shake. Oh yeah, the comment is, you know what would make this better? <gasps> Tequila. <laughs> this is it already. <laughs> Put some ice cubes in there. Nice. Now we top it off with this. It looks so cream. It looks way creamier than theirs. I'm just saying. I think it must be a good thing because this looks delicious, right? This looks so good. Yeah, I want to get into that. I would totally serve it like that. And everyone would be like, you know what would make this drink better? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try it. I don't know why I was expecting like some kind of coquito flavor or some kind of like Latin American Christmas drink. <laughs> I mean, it looks exactly like what I've made a couple of months ago, so. Mmm, that is so good. I would definitely be rocking on the dance floor, rocking naughty with this drink. And then your hands are on my waist. We're just gonna let the music play. Then we're hand in hand, chest to chest. And now we're face to face. And I've got coconut shreds between my teeth, so you'll probably be leaving. This feels like a proper meal because of the coconut cream, not gonna lie. But it is so delicious. I don't know about the coconut shreds. This is so tasty. Safe to say, I won't have to cry myself to sleep tonight. Guys, I actually feel drunk. <laughs> and I wouldn't even know because I've never been drunk. I'm sorry, but this is very good. Take this away. A secret place. This didn't age so well in comparison. This is a 10 out of 10, guys. <laughs> Mmm. Ooh, this one looks so good. Yeah. This next one is a blood orange coconut mocktail. 
Mmm, amazing. You're gonna need more coconut flakes, three ounces of blood orange juice. You can take fresh ones, but I couldn't find blood oranges, so. Unfortunately, you're also gonna need three ounces of coconut water, which I'm hoping you won't be able to taste that well. <laughs> One and a half ounces of pineapple juice. Why is pineapple juice such a cocktail juice? One more tablespoon of coconut cream and half an ounce of maple syrup, however much that is. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna take this glass now. It's kind of dirty, but I feel like that adds to the charm. And I'm gonna do the same coconut rim again. I guess they made it using maple syrup, but I still have so much agave syrup on my plate here that I'm just gonna use that. I'm so good at making this coconut rim, I'm just saying. We're gonna start this off. Ugh. With three ounces of blood orange juice. What the fuck even is blood orange? Like why is it bloody? I'm gonna give this another try guys. Coconut water. Ah oh, no. Two ounces. One and a half ounces of pineapple juice. One tablespoon of the coconut cream. Half an ounce of maple syrup we're gonna add now. Ooh, ice cubes! Their drink is a super light purple color. Mine definitely won't be purple. Here is our glass. More ice. The moment of truth. Ooh, what a pretty color. It has such a different color. I mean, they use fresh blood oranges, so that might change everything. So summery, unfortunately, and it's like winter now. But it is summer in like um, the Southern Hemisphere, so this one's for you guys. Let's try this. Cheers to the queers and to the freaking weekend. A drink that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. This tastes like a fruity yogurt, really. I almost want to add a sprinkle, just a dash of lime juice. Because I feel like it's very nice, but it does remind me a little too much of a nice yogurt. It needs a little bit of a kick or something. Maybe even mint instead. That didn't do anything. But it's very good. This is definitely better than the jalapeno one. But I also can give it more than 8 out of 10 points. Because it's lacking another flavor dimension. <laughs> It's time for our last drink already. This last one we're gonna make solely because of its name. I think it's not gonna be that exciting, but it is called a Cinderella mocktail. And I was like, I kinda don't wanna make it, but it's called a Cinderella mocktail, so I kind of have to. Yeah, that was yesterday. Today I'm wondering what compelled me to think that way because I have no connection whatsoever to Cinderella. I don't think I've even watched the original Disney movie. I've only seen <laughs> Cinderella story with Hilary Duff and Chad Michael Murray. So if you can tell me what about this is Cinderella, then that would be amazing. But also watch a Cinderella story because that is such a good movie that is like, it should have won Oscars, really. Sometimes I'm like, okay, let's check out this Oscar winning movie. I fall asleep after two minutes because it's so fucking boring. And then I watch something amazing and groundbreaking as a Cinderella story, also featuring Jennifer Coolidge, by the way. You're not very pretty. And you're not very bright. I'm so glad we had that talk. And I'm wondering what happened to this world that we do not give this its flowers. But I guess that's a different video. <laughs> if you fancy a Cinderella mocktail, here is what you need for it. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice. At this point, I'm like a pineapple myself. Two tablespoons of orange juice. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. Half a teaspoon of grenadine. Gr gr grenadine. Bruno Mars' song. And to fill up the glass, some ginger ale. Let's become Cinderella. Ella, Ella, eh, eh, eh. Let's become Cinderella. Ella, Ella, eh, 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 eh. Here's our shaker, you little baker. Pineapple juice. Orange juice. Now onto the lemon juice. One. Grenadine. Yeah. Time to shake it and bake it with some ice. This is a gin glass, but I feel like it also definitely reminds me of Cinderella. Add some ice and more ice. Add your juice. Add your mocktail, of course. We're gonna top it with either ginger ale or soda water, but obviously we're gonna use ginger ale. 
Ah! <laughs> Here you have it, our Cinderella mocktail. This looks boring, but the glass is fun, so I'm glad I've chosen this glass. This one's for you. Let's get wasted. <laughs> I was not expecting this to be interesting. <laughs> this really is not boring. It's so sour because I guess I add a little too much lemon. All of my drinks, guys, are so fucking good that I'm gonna drink them all together. Who's panicking right now looking at this? I'm gonna be a mixologist. I know I've done some crazy dishes in terms of like food on my channel But I think I'm gonna struggle more digesting this because of all of the sparkles <laughs> And now I want to hear from you. Do you have any crazy mocktail recipes? It's safe to say though. I'm probably skipping dinner It's also safe to say that you probably don't want me as your mixologist at your next party But it's hopefully safe to say that for your next party You have some new ideas and inspiration for drinks that you could drink instead of going, you know, for the typical. I'm out of here. I'm gonna go party now. And by that I mean I'll probably play Apex. See, my hand is already saying goodbye, so I think my mouth has to do the same. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y entonces, nos vemos la próxima vez. Bye!